For thousands of years, Satan has been experimenting upon the properties of the human mind, and he has learned to know it well. By his subtle workings in these last days, he is linking the human mind with his own, imbuing it with his thoughts. And he is doing this work in so deceptive a manner that those who accept his guidance know not that they are being led by him at his will. The great deceiver hopes so to confuse the minds of men and women that none but his voice will be heard. This is a scary thought. Satan is a liar and he is priming people's minds towards his thoughts. The lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Satan primes people's minds towards the sensory pleasures of illicit sex, drugs, gluttony, materialistic greed and narcissistic vanity through the avenues to the soul which are our five senses, sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch. King David vowed, I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. He knew that what he looked at would affect his eternal salvation because by beholding you become changed. When you look at Jesus, you become like Jesus. And when you listen to Satan, you become like Satan. So what are the thoughts of Satan? Two words, rebellion and selfishness. Satan is the father of lies, which means that he is in rebellion against the truth. There are three definitions of truth in the Bible. Number one, Jesus is the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Number two, God's word, the Bible, is the truth. Jesus prayed, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. And number three, God's law, or the Ten Commandments, is the truth. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is truth. So when He, the Spirit of truth, has come, He will guide you into all truth. Jesus said, my sheep listen to my voice, because they are focused on the truth by His Holy Spirit dwelling in their hearts. Jesus said to the people who believed in Him, You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Free from the anxiety, depression, and destructive self-serving practices that come from listening to the voice of the enemy of your soul.